add as from my fellow space enthusiasts and especially lunar visit enthusiasts all right so uh, we've been wondering why there is a race to the moon suddenly between china russia india america all of them have restarted or kick started their moon missions and everyone wants to explore the moon's polar regions this time because after the 2007 moon mission of china this race became very obvious first we observed the possibility of solidified helium 3 on the moon and then in september 2022 the chinese moon mission actually collected the samples of the crystalline uh, helium 3 and named it the chang site after the chang'e the chinese goddess of the moon which is what their mission's name was while looking for water and the possibilities of life forms uh, you know that's the general excuse they are race for helium 3 which is an isotope of helium that is not found on earth and it's a very stable out so isotope it's a huge source of energy and that is why everybody wants to get to the moon fast and furious all right so helium 3 is produced as a result of beta decay uh, the ionization of tritium uh, and then aram se beta and then the solar wind carries charged particles containing helium 3 and these get deposited on the moon surface and because the moon doesn't have an atmosphere they are not reflected like they get uh, you know that way from earth's atmosphere and instead they get deposited so the extreme cold on the moon's polar regions and on the dark side of the moon which is of course pink floyd's awesome max album as well uh, causes these particles to crystallize right and then when fused with deuterium helium 3 releases huge amounts of energy but no radioactive emissions so it can be a clean source of fuel or a source of clean energy right and uh, that's why it makes non radiating nuclear energy and this is the race which is all the which is attracting all the space faring nations of the earth right uh, helium 3 liquefies at 4.2 kelvin which is uh, minus 267 degrees celsius because zero kelvin is absolute zero uh, the Uh, the space, the temperature of dark space and uh, you know the interstellar matter between galaxies and it solidifies at 0k absolute <laughs> yeah, zero so these are favorable factors in uh, the polar regions of the moon and on the dark side in certain low lying areas over there so let's get down to the logistical part of it why uh, it's important to get moon missions uh, underway so that uh, the nations including india especially now that chandrayaan 3 has been a success uh, can get this back to earth and use it as a source of uh, energy so one rocket payload can maximum carry a payload up to 25 tons uh, which china is already planning and they plan to set up helium 3 fusion factory in the earth's higher orbits and then beam the energy onto the receiver system being built at chengdu So 25 tons of solidified helium-3 can power a country like China for one full year and a country like India for about four years. So these are, of course, estimates, and uh, they are not like uh, rigorously worked out uh, exact figures. But it just goes to show how tremendous the amount of energy can be, and especially because it's clean energy, it will have even lesser impact on Earth in the long run, right? And it could become a preferred fuel of the future. and uh, whichever nation develops these capabilities will <laughs> obviously lord it over the others all right so this will have a huge impact on defense technologies too and a uh, lot of star wars for which the us has set up its space force and everything which is also a great uh, comedy series starring steve carell uh, you can check it out uh, but i don't think it was renewed after a, you know initial season uh, or at least i didn't watch it and in earth's atmosphere uh like i mentioned in the earlier part of the video uh, the helium 3 cannot it gets reflected back into space and uh, even though chandrayaan 3 has given us a huge lead in the global race for helium 3 uh mining on the moon has its own challenges and uh, one step at a time you know <laughs> six hours at a time also our aditya l1 mission uh, which is studying solar flares and uh, charged particles including helium 3 will enable us to gain more information before we start building more practical missions to mine helium 3 and of course the gaganyaan program which is india's very own astronaut program is uh, taking shape 
uh, of course it was delayed by the worldwide pandemic but uh, let's see how uh, things uh, pan out in that sphere so with that said i will bid you adieu and uh, on this note i will also say check out my uh, latest science fiction novel on stack me the link is in the description and smash that sub button for awesome acts fun check out my other space videos this is advitya and i am aradhya we are the akshats saying goodbye take care and add astra